Hi, my name is Diamond. I'm here with my mother, Chantel. The date is December 19th, 2022, and we are recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. And I'm going to be asking her seven questions. Do you have any regrets? That I didn't go away to college. And Say I would. I wish I would have went away to college. I wish I would have pursued it more than went to nursing school at an early age. What are your hopes for your children? My hopes for my children is that they become not rich, but wealthy and healthy, that all my kids go to college and finish through college successfully. And I pray that they keep their heads on shoulders on right. Can you tell me about the important people in your life? The important people in my life, number one, is God. Number two will be my husband and my children. Those are my number one priorities in my life. Okay. What is your favorite memory of me? My favorite memory of Diamond is when she was about one month old and I was eating a burger and Diamond tried to take the burger out of my mouth. She tried to reach for my mouth with her mouth and eat my burger. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, what are you most proud of? Of you? Like, in general. I'm most, pro most proud of how my kids are. I'm most proud of how I've become as a woman and how I'm able to show how I'm doing good through my firstborn, which is you, Diamond Young, and how you're succeeding so far. It's my first test, is you. Anything else you're proud of? Like, personally with you? I'm proud of the strong woman I've become with everything that I have went through in my whole life and that I haven't lost my mind and that I'm still strong and I'm still going hard. Are you proud of me? Of course I'm proud of you and I'm never going to stop rooting for you. I don't care if you turn 45. I'm going to still be in that audience saying go damn me. And how did you choose my name? How did I choose your name? It actually came from your father. Um, we had a few names that we were coming up with and your father wanted the same initials as his name. He actually named you. What was going to be my name if it wasn't Diamond? Deja. Why Deja? I always wanted a little girl with a dimples and I named Deja. But Diamond was close enough because I liked the Diamond too because I always thought you was a charm. Mm. How would you like to be remembered? I would love to remember as a queen. I would like for my kids to make sure that they take care of themselves and they always know independence and stay strong and go hard and don't never give up because that's what I've always taught you all. When and where were you born? I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I was born at St. Bernard's Hospital. <laughs> what was it like? What, the hospital? No, I'm saying, like, what was it like? Being born in Chicago? Yeah. Well, I was Growing halfway, up. Well, I was halfway raised in Chicago. I also stayed in California half my life, San Francisco. I was born and raised there, too, um, half of my life. I came back here when I was 14 years old, and I've been in Chicago, Illinois, since then. Um, it has been a big difference from being in California to Chicago, but I've managed to succeed, and I've mainly been on my own. If you could do everything again, would you raise me differently? Nope, I sure would not. Cause raising you has helped me become stronger and it has helped me live and learn through you and actually keep me strong. You keep me stronger and keep me going from things that I know, wish I could have done with my life. And so I tried with you. And when I see you succeed, it keeps a smile on my face. Um, what were the hardest moments you had when you was growing up? The hardest moment that I had when I was growing up is I lost my mother at 11 years old. So when my mother was killed at 11, and I vowed to God when I have my own kids, I will love and cherish them from the most. And losing her, I've had to become a stronger woman to raise my kids and let them be the value of what, what a mother is. How do you think we are alike? How do you think we are different? We're both sassy. All right. <laughs> um, 
We're both very <laughs> in, we're both very independent. The difference between me and you is I'm trying to teach you how to speak up for yourself. Versus me, I speak up for myself, but I think it will come over time. As you get older, you will know how to stand up for yourself in the most respectful way, and it's okay to speak up. Do you feel like you answered these questions, you know, right? I Truthfully. feel like I've done the truth. I think I did a good job. Uh, that's the end. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.